Hey, Rap Candy, it's Ryan, and this is video part. Boy, I've lost track. Part four. Um, we have our Zen car installed. It took about 15 minutes to be installed. I even got a message saying it was ready. So I've gone to my website, favorthiswedding.com, and now I'm going to go to the admin. And you can see it's really ugly. We're not worried about that at, mo at the moment. We are going to change and secure our site by changing the admin directory. And it's a little difficult, so bear with me here. We're first going to go to our admin by typing admin. You're going to be log you're going to be prompted to log in. I've already logged in. But you're going to have to put your username and password which you set up in the last video. So hopefully you wrote that down. Okay, you're going to see a warning up here. Your admin folder name should be renamed to something less common. I strongly recommend that you change the name of your admin and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first, I don't know if you've ever seen my other video. I have a video on how to use Firezilla. It is a file transferring program. It's a free program. And I'm going to use it here, so you might want to pause this video, go download it, and install it if you haven't. But I'm just opening it up, and at the very top here it says host name. And my host name for this website is uh, favorthiswedding.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in favorthiswedding.com. My username we set up in when we set up the hosting. That was video two, and I told you or reminded you to write it down so you wouldn't forget. So hopefully you remember. And so now I'm typing in my password that I created at the same step. And I'm going to do a quick connect. Now over here on the right, this is my website. Over here on the left, this is my hard drive. I We need to go to the admin folder here. So what we're going to do is go down here, double click on admin. We need to go to the includes folder and there's going to be a file called configure.php. We need this on our computer so we can edit it really quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the left and I'm going to drag and let go of left click and copy it over to my computer. Now this is in one of my folders I created up here. To create a folder you right click, create folder name, or put it in an existing folder. Now to edit this file I'm going to go right click and I'm going to edit him and you make sure it's in notepad so it doesn't change any of these PHP scripting codes. Very important. If, you're, if, if it opens up in WordPad, it'll mess up your entire script. So make sure if it opens up in Word, close it, use open with to open up your file and choose notepad. Okay, there's three things we need to edit in here and that would be your admin name. Now this is something you're gonna have to remember and and make it hidden. So here we're just gonna make it admin five six seven eight four admin five six seven eight four see I'm not changing any of these settings here I'm just adding some numbers to make it more difficult to find the admin I suggest you use something a little bit more unique than this but I'm just showing this for tutorial purposes okay there's one more spot in this file that says admin and you need to change it to identical whatever you change your folder name for your admin five six seven eight four now we need to we have to save this file. File save, and it should save directly over this one right here. So this is the new configured one. So I'm going to say yes. Oh, whoops. Okay. Anyway, it was trying to save it to here. We need to change the permissions over here because this will not let you. Um, it will not let you overwrite this file. So I'm right clicking this file, and it's called file permissions. I'm going to change it to. 777. You have to remember to change it back to 404 when you're done. But this is just so it'll let you write over it with our new file. So first I'm going to just verify that by editing I'm going to verify that it's got my na my new stuff admin 56784. So that's that's good. I'm going to take this now that I've changed the permissions the server will let me overwrite this file. I am going to hold the left click and drag it drop it it'll prompt me to overwrite action overwrite I'm going to allow it I'm going to click OK now that file has been changed now remember I told you you need to change the permissions back so no one can try to change the file and you want to change it back to 404 it only has read and read you can't overwrite can't do anything so I'm going to click OK next step is to go back up here at this top we need to change this folder number, this folder name, to what we changed it in these in these uh, commands here. Admin 
five, six, seven, eight, four. So I'm going to change this entire folder by renaming it. I'm right clicking rename to five, six, seven, eight, four. All right, now our admin on our website. If I go here, it's gone. There is no more admin. I changed the name, remember? So I need to go to 56784. And there we go. Back. That's my new admin. Anyway, I got another video for you. I know this one is a little bit confusing. If you need help, don't hesitate to contact me, ryan at rapcandy.com. Uh, more to come.